Hey guys, so what a few people have been asking me in my sessions that I've been having today exactly how to upload a video onto YouTube. So I thought, well, what better yet, like what, what a better way to do it than actually use Screencast-O-Matic to make the video on how to upload things to YouTube. So um, as you can see here, I've got my YouTube channel open. Um, so if you don't know how to do that as well, it's all in the side tab here. Um, so you've got your different things there. Um, and I've just gone to my channel. Um, now the best thing about this is I can literally just go to this plus to um, upload a video. So I don't want to go live. That's where you'd be actually casting out in live time. Um, I want to upload a video. So I'm clicking on that and it's going to send me to this um, page here. Just wait until it uploads there. Um, so today in my in my sessions, I was making I made a test video that was only like ten seconds long. So that'll be good because this will be quick to upload. So if I go select file, I could actually also drag and drop it. So there we go. I'd find my test file, um, but just showing you as well that I can open that up, get my test file, and drag and drop it in. It will take a little bit to upload. Um, beauty of mine though, like I just said, it's only 10 second video, so it did upload quite quickly. So um, I could give it a title, test of screen o -matic. Okay, cool, I've got that. And then description, so me showing how to make a video, cool. I've got that. So at the moment, it's processing the video. Um, you could make a thumbnail, but we don't. We don't really need to be that technical. We could just select an image, and that's what's going to be shown. Um, you can see here if you want to add it to a playlist. Um, if I go down, yes, it's made for kids. So I always say that because I mean I'm making educational content and I'm not swearing and different things like that. So. There we go, I've got that there. So now I can go to next, which is actually behind my face. So I'm going to have to move my face up the top and go next. So now I've got my um, video elements. You can see here that I don't have any of those to add in there. They're really fancy things for proper YouTubers. Um, if we're just being a teacher and trying to get this content to the kids, um, we don't really need any of that. Um, visibility, so this is the nuts and bolts of it here as well. So lots of time I just say public. Um, unlisted, private, um, so you can set the private, you can set when you want it to come out. So if I click schedule, I can say the time and stuff that I want it to come out. So if you want this to come out at the start of a lesson, you can do that. Um, so that's good. Uh, and then the rest of it's all okay there. So if I say I want to schedule on the 7th, so that's tomorrow at 12 a.m., I'll do that. And we'll go schedule. And so you can see there that I've got that. I can copy the link. So if I want to copy that, I click there and I can copy that straight into a direct message or into a um, my edit online lessons or my planning. So that's all good and it's all, it's all set to go there. So um, you can see it's uploading. So you can see all the videos I've got there set ready to go. You can see I've made them ready to see for kids. Um, you can see it's scheduled, so I've got all those different things there now. So if you do need any more help with how to upload things onto YouTube, please just come and ask me in the technologies office or call me on the school phone.